So next was the UV additive. So for this, um, took a lot of testing to get right because it's been a while since I did UV editing. But um, when I went into the first one, it was like really um, messed up, as you can see in this image. So the first thing I did was do add it and do automatic, which gave me a good result. And to um, make it um, more better, I did optimize, which just basically optimizes the faces. And I did, um, what's it called? I did straight in UVs, which just basically straight in the UVs, because they might be like um, not straight in. And so I did that. And then after that, I did layout, which just automatically lays out the UV gels. So that was that for that one. Same thing here, I did automatic because it was the only one that was working for me. Automatic this one too. Um, I do change it up. So for this one, I could have done automatic too since it's only a square, but um, for this, I ended up doing um, added. I did the UV shells camera based. So the car the whatever side I was facing, it would I it would like straight in UV so I had to do it like each one. So I basically did that see so camera paste right here and I did that for each side instead of automatic. Um same thing here I did camera based so I looked at a specific direction and it would automatically sort out the UV shells. And basically did optimize straight at UVs and layout after that. Did it the camera base for every direction and that's how I did the that part. For this part I think I ended up doing automatic because it was very um there's a lot of faces and extrusions and it would have took really long if I did it any other way. So I just did automatic. Which turned out perfectly. Um, for the shelf, I did the same thing. I did camera based, and for the cylinder, I think I did um, like a cylinder gold based map, which gave me like these cylinder gold based faces. And with that, I did optimize straight in UVs and layout, which gave me a good result of this. Um, basically, did the same thing for this, for the cylinder, did um, the, cyl the cylindrical map, got all that working, and. Basically, it was repeating those same saps for the whole canvas. The UVs, organizing the UV shells weren't really that hard since it was a, not really a complex model, but I got all the UVs um, sorted out, um, squared, they're not stretched, which would be perfect for texturing. And that is how I got my UV gels done for my model.